Haslahel, Sitsayatsa Sitsta, Deborah Parker. It's good to be here. I want to thank the Creator for bringing all of us fantastically beautiful women here today. And, you know, I, I woke up thinking, wow, this is such an honor to be here as a First Nations, as an Indigenous woman, and to see all the Native American women, Alaska Native, Hawaiian women, who also came here. So I just want to welcome. And then to see so many of our sisters from all walks of life, from all, all sizes, shapes, colors, beautiful sentiments, um, you just amaze me. So it's so beautiful to be with you. Um, when I was asked to come and speak, I know we have five minutes to speak on a very difficult issue, but in our traditional way, I've always been taught to speak from your heart. That's part of our teachings in our longhouses, ceremonies that we do in, in sacred, in our sacred way. And so I've asked some of my sisters who are here in front of me from, um, from Native North America to come and sing an honor song of our indigenous women. So we will begin the song and please, uh, in your own way, keep a good, good, a good mind, a good heart, a good prayer as we sing this song. And this song comes from our uh, First Nation sister from up north and it's called our uh, Native Warrior Song. for the unborn. for the adult women and our sisters. and murdered indigenous women and all the sisters who have gone on before us. Join us with your fist in the air. Hey, 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 yahi, oh, oh, yahi, oh, 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 hey, hey, yahi, oh, yahi, oh, 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 hey. Thank you in our language and thank you to my sisters for coming forward and singing the song to help ground us and to help remind us that we all have a beautiful life, and, and that includes all women. And I just ask that we remember, always remember our Native American women. We almost were not in the Violence Against Women Act. Two days before the vote, they told me, I'm sorry, Native women would not be included. And I was in uh, Senator Murray's office at the time, and I looked at her staff members and I said, how can you not include 
the very women who come from this, these lands. How can you forget about our indigenous women? And they said, I'm sorry, we just, there wasn't a face. And at that time, I knew that I had to be that face. I'm a victim of sexual assault, of assault as a child. And so I said, I would tell my story. And my daughter, who was up here singing, Kaya George, was at home and she seen it on television back home on our reservation. And she cried. And that began our story of me telling her what her mother has been through, what my mother, her grandmother, our sisters, our aunties, our uncles, our cousins, our dads, so many of our people have been through sexual assault and violence. In fact, I found out today it's close to 84%, 81% of Native men. There is a real problem here. And so there's just so much more to say, so little time, but I hope and pray that we stand together and that we remember our indigenous women of this country of Native North America, including our Hawaiian sisters. I know there's some here to today. Oh, oh much aloha. And to our Alaska Native women, I know they're here today. I see you, the Tlingits on the side there. And to each and every one of you, may we stand united. May we stand together in love and prayer and honor. ACM Tiguitzid. Thank you. <laughs>